Good morning, Grove. Good morning. Good morning. What a joy it is to be here, to be in, in your presence this morning. I am grateful to God for just uh, one more day. If um, Sister Cooper was here, she'd say one more sunny day. But her voice as we know it, has been silenced. At some point, God is going to silence all of our voices. But we thank God for her life. We thank God for sharing us, sharing her with us for so many, many years. To her children who did an outstanding job celebrating her life, we thank you so much for sharing her Amen with, with us. We thank God this morning that we were privileged by God to get up this morning with the right activities of our limbs. Come on, and clothes in our right mind. We have so much this morning to be ever so grateful and, and thankful for. Those that have your phones and other things, make sure that they are on silence for us so that uh, it doesn't uh, startle you or anyone next to you. We are still trusting and praying that everyone um, have been vaccinated, and if you haven't, make sure that you wear your, your mask. Um, that's been a hot button and a discussion. We won't do that. We just pray that you stay safe. Amen. To our virtual church family this morning that have linked in, God bless you for being with us uh, this morning as you sip your coffee, <laughs> drink your juice while you're still in your robe. Amen. <laughs> Ain't God something? Amen. Amen. And we thank God, though, for you that have come out, amen, to, to fellowship. On last Sunday, I had the privilege of being over in the part of Middle Tennessee as a part of an installation program for a friend of mine in the person of Brother Thomas Ray Frierson. We thank God for the journey over there. We enjoyed the friendships, all of the people I haven't seen uh, for a long time since my 20s. So y'all know that's been a while ago. But we thank God for giving us traveling grace back here. And then to find all of us and all of you doing well. Let me thank you so much for all of the waters that are next door, uh, but we need some more. Y- y'all see how we got it? It's looking good. It's massive. It's massive. But I wanted to look not just massive. I wanted to look over massive. I thought that they were going to be picking up this week, but they're going to give us a week. And I said, if you give us two weeks, we'll have just about more than what we have now. And so there are those who have not had, a, had the privilege of, 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 of sharing with us in the water department, uh, personal hygiene, if you want to get toiletries, different things, all of it will go. Clothing, we really don't want clothing. What we want to do here at Westor Grove on, the, on that uh, fifth Sunday here at, at the Grove, on that Harvest Sunday, we want to ask members if they will, as a special offering, to give toward the victims there in Louisiana. 
And whatever we get from that, we want to get what we call um, gift cards, uh, get different amounts of gift cards, and they can buy the clothes or those things that they, that they need. And so, so if we can do that, that would be easy for us because what typically happens, we bring stuff that we don't want and we don't wear and can't nobody else really wear it. We're just getting rid of it. Amen. And I tell you how I know we had so much stuff in this building that folk brought that wasn't no good. They just left it with us. And so that big old dumpster over there, believe it or not, it is really almost full. Uh, the young folk, uh, young adults came down, I believe it was last Saturday, and, and I believe they threw everything away but the cross on the wall right there. Amen. Uh, 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 they may have thrown away some stuff we probably needed, but since I went down here to supervise and wasn't nobody else, thank y'all anyhow. Amen. We appreciate y'all so very, very much uh, for, for that. Um, so, so please, uh, I like what some are doing. They come down, the building is locked. All you got to do is give me a shout. If you don't have my cell number, it's easy to get. But if, if nobody is here, you can leave it under the overpath here, the water especially, and water to the front door. It'll get in because we're constantly coming by, coming in and, and, and out. And so, so please bring us some more. Somebody said, well, what I done brought some. If you got some extra money, bring some more. <laughs> Amen. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting more, especially when I find good deals on them. And so, and so please check your papers, check everything, because you can probably get, get some deals on them. And so, Brother Wallace, I, I really want to help. There have been different ones, uh, even through Facebook, uh, or our um, media ministry uh, live streaming have also sent uh, uh, things. They were at the door, got their address, and had it shipped here. So we are appreciative to you. You know who you are, and so we thank you for, for that. But if you just take a moment after worship, just... Throw your head in there. Just look at what we've already done. We've already done, uh, but we want to do that and some more. Can you do that for us? Amen. 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 Come on, do me a favor. Just give yourself a great big hand for what you've already done. All right. On the 31st, there will be a trunk or treat, so let's keep that in mind right after we dismiss here, and that we'll get, we'll get more information on that. Uh, as, as time progresses, uh, Harvest Sunday is coming up on the 31st. But before the Harvest Sunday get here, let's let's do something on next Sunday, which will be the 24th. Let's let's celebrate. Let's make our members here aware and those who may tune in that we also recognize breast cancer awareness. Uh, I don't want that to slip by us. So on next Sunday, let's all find something kind of hot pinkish or pink and. And, and wet, if it's just a boutonniere or whatever, on, on next um, Sunday. Can we do that? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, some kind of way uh, on next Sunday. Let's, let's, let's do that. And uh, um, we're trying to find out exactly how many have been diagnosed and has uh, been delivered from it. And though that may be struggling with it, if, if uh, are you having, having some tests done, and, and, and you've been told that you have it, and we are not aware of it. Uh, if you don't want us to know it, that, that's fine. But, but we want to do something just a little special on next Sunday for those who have had it and God has delivered them. And then those that um, may be going through some treatments now, uh, we want to recognize those who've been delivered. Because what that will do for you, amen, is help you know that God can deliver you as, as well. And so... And so next Sunday, let's prepare. Let's prepare. And let's be excited about it. Amen. Uh, celebrating uh, God's deliverance of those who have had it and has beat it. Uh, uh, and, and it is in remission. And we're praying that it never, ever, amen, comes, comes back. Also, the Thanksgiving meal for the needy in our community. Thanks. Some of you are still bringing in. You still got plenty of time for the Thanksgiving families. We want to do 50 uh, families this year, so let's continue to do that uh, as well. And while we're thinking along that line, let's not forget our uh, Christmas Angel Tree Program. I think we changed that name, I believe. I'm not sure. We may, may still have that same name, but we also want to make sure that needed children in our in the community or, or, or wherever it may be that we can assist for Christmas, uh, we want to do that as well. Sister, um, yes, Sister Newsom will, will get with me on that a little bit more. She's already, amen, 
uh, hit me up during during the week. They they really do me bad, y'all. They they really do. They 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 treat me like I just don't remember nothing. Amen. And I can hear y'all thinking right now. I hear all y'all thinking right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear y'all thinking right now. He don't remember nothing. Yeah, I, I hear you. But that's why I got all of y'all for to remind me. Amen. So we thank you so. <laughs> we thank you so very, 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 very much. Also, I won't mention these now. We'll mention them a little later. But 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 we have quite a few that's been on the sick list, and we want to just continue to keep all of our members that are that have been sick and is sick in in our in our prayers. So let's do that. Come on now. Let's stand as we prepare our hearts and our minds to worship the God of of, of heaven. God has been so good to us. Amen. All week. All week, all week, he has been blessing us all week, all week. He has been showering his blessings upon us all week. All week. Gas is as high as giraffe ears. And, and, and we are still buying premium, Amen. I don't mean any harm. God is just good. I mean, uh, stuff is just, I mean, and, 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 and people are just taking advantage of poor people. Uh, this food is so high. Uh, but I, I'm here to tell you, the righteous is going to survive, you know. Uh, the faithful are going to make it. Uh, 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 and, so, and so it's so important that, that we, we be ever so mindful of the small blessings, you know. You know, people are still doing what they want to do. And stuff, I did not know premium was all over $4 in some places. And that's, that, 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 that's pretty high. But if you can get out your car, pull out your plastic, or pull out your paper and pay for it, you ought to be shouting right now. But that's a blessing. That's a blessing, a blessing. And a blessing. Uh, to all of those that are listening and to some of you that are sitting in here, yes, Alabama had their way with Mississippi State. Now, I only said that before we go into worship because when we go into worship, we ain't going to worry about that no more. But I had already texted Nick Saban earlier last week and I asked him to have mercy on us. So y'all see what his answer was, right? Yes, yes. And, and Sister Parker, you know, you've had your moment, okay? <laughs> and I purposely did not respond to your text because it wasn't fourth quarter yet, amen. But yes, we were whipped. We were whipped cat raggedy, amen. It was embarrassing, yes. Oh, it hurt me so bad, amen. But we thank God, amen, <laughs> that we at least... Uh, Got out of there with nine points. Amen. <laughs> On a very serious and positive note, as I look out and see our young adults, it's good to see many of you this morning. The future of this church rest on the very shoulders of those that comes after us. And so we ask this church for your prayers as I and other men of this church prepare ourselves to step back, not step away, but step back in so many areas and start training these younger men and women for the future. And I tell you this morning, the future of West Oak Grove is bright. Amen. Amen. Members leave and members come. Our job now is to go get the lost. And that is something that we have dropped the ball on. And so we are making serious plans to get back into evangelism because that's the strength and the foundation of the church and we don't need just men we need women as well 
And so we thank God, amen, for, for all of you. And we thank God for what he's getting ready to do here at West Oak Grove. As we worship this morning, as we worship this morning, let's be mindful that we are actually still in a pandemic. But our prayer is, is that although we're in it, we're coming out of it. And we're going to praise God for what he's getting ready to do. Because this did not come to last. This is coming. It's coming to pass. Amen. It's coming. It's coming to pass. So we appreciate that. In the book of Psalm, the 100th division, the Bible says, Make a joy for noise unto the Lord. <clears throat> All ye land, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and sheep of his pasture, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his court with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. People of God that agree said amen. If you're glad to be here this morning. If you're glad to be clothed in your right mind this morning. Give God a great big hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. I woke up this morning with my mind. My mind was set, set on Jesus. Oh, you know, woke up this morning with my mind. My mind was set. Yeah, you know, I woke up this morning with my mind. My mind was set, set on Jesus, singing hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, you know the devil can't harm you. Be your mind, your mind is set. Yeah, you know the devil can't harm you. Be your mind, your mind is set. Set, set on the law. Yeah, you know the devil can't harm you. Be your mind. Out on Jesus, singing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yeah, you know, I woke up this morning when my mind, my mind was set. Come on up a little bit.
Hallelujah. Uh, God is good. We about was to stay in that realm right there. This morning when I rose, yeah, I hey, this morning when I rose, yeah, hey, this morning I saw a brand new day, and I know the Lord will, He will. When I rose, yeah. Hey, this morning when I rose, yeah. Yeah, this morning when I rose, yeah. I know the Lord. He will. He will. And guide me all the yes, and I felt like running, felt like running, felt like running. and I felt like lapping, felt like lapping, and I felt like shouting, felt like shouting. Anybody in here? Anybody feel like shouting? Hadn't the Lord been good? Don't you feel like shouting? Didn't he wake you up? Didn't he start you on your way? Put shoes on your feet? Clothes on your back? You woke up in your right mind? Brought you here. All you can do is shout. The least you can do is just shout. That I feel like running. Feel like running. Feel like lapping. Said I feel like lapping. Oh, I feel like shouting. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, and I feel like shouting. Hey, this morning when I rose, yeah. Lord, this morning when I got out my bed. Hey, this morning I saw a brand new day. I know the Lord will take care of me. He will. Lord, He'll lead me, lead it. Oh, so I feel like running. Feel like running. I feel like lapping. Said I feel like shouting, giving him praise. Lord, I just want to thank you for everything you've done. For everything you've done. For everything you've been. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. This morning when I rose, yeah. Oh, this morning when I got out my bed. Lord, this morning when I saw a brand new day, Lord. I know that the Lord will take care. He will. He'll provide me. He will lead and guide me all the way. Oh, oh, the way.
I come here to read the script today, John 8 through 30, verse 37. I come to read the scripture verse chapter wait. I come to read scripture John chapter eight verse thirty to seven. And it says, As he spoke these words, many people many believed in him. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Then they answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been abundant to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them most assuredly. I say to you who commit sins and is a slave of sin, and a slave does, does not abide in the house forever, but a son, a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, and you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me because my word has no peace in you. Thank 
something to make us be better Christians tomorrow than we were yesterday. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your word, Father, because without it, we all would just be lost. I pray, Father, that as we go through this service, we do it decent and pleasing in your sight. I pray, Father, as we sing your songs, we pray. I pray that we all lift our voices. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we are just not, Father, we just ask that you be with us all. Heavenly Father, I ask that you be a protector of us all. Heavenly Father, I pray a special prayer for Brother Smith this morning. Pray, Father, that you watch over him and give him the things that he stands in need of. Heavenly Father, I pray for the ones who are on their way. I pray that they be able to make it safely. Yes. Heavenly Father, just be with us. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Oh God. All the glory belongs, all the glory belongs to you, yeah. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Oh God, yeah. All of the glory, all the glory belongs to you, yeah. All the glory belongs to you, oh. Oh God, oh God, yeah. All of the glory, all the glory belongs, all the glory belongs to you, yeah. Glory belongs to you, oh, oh God, oh God, yeah. Why don't you help me sing and say, Hallelujah? Help me say, Hallelujah? Come on now, sing and say, Hallelujah? Help me say, Hallelujah? Hallelujah. All the glory, all the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you, Lord. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Oh God, oh God, yeah. Lord, we praise you. All the glory belongs, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, all the glory belongs to you, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let me sing and say, I'm hallelujah. Help me say hi, hallelujah, hallelujah, the highest praise, say hallelujah, hallelujah, help me say hi, hallelujah, hey, pray them say hallelujah, 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 Lord, hallelujah, Lord, 
we praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We adore you. Yes, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, all the glory belongs. All the glory Oh, Lord, all the glory belongs to you. Almighty, all powerful, hey, all the glory belongs to you, Lord, all the glory, you, oh God, yeah, say hallelujah, 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 hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Hallelujah, say hallelujah, if you love him, hallelujah, if you praise him, hallelujah, if he's been good, hallelujah, if he's been good, hallelujah, if he saved you, hallelujah, if he's blessed you, hallelujah, if he brought you a mighty long way, mighty long way, hallelujah, then you raise me, hallelujah then you saved me hallelujah could have been dead could have been lost wiped away hallelujah you didn't let me die hallelujah you didn't let me stay down hallelujah hallelujah i could have been lost could have been on my way to hell hallelujah 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 lord i praise you lord i praise you lord i lift you lord i raise you oh all the glory belongs oh lord you oh oh god oh god all the glory all the glory belongs oh you oh Oh, God. Oh, all the glory belongs to God. Tell you what, you say hallelujah. You say thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you don't want to stop saying it. Because he's just been so good. Something about the name Jesus. So there's something about the name G. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, oh, how I love the name. How I love the name. Oh, how I love the name G. The sweetest name is the sweet. Sweetest name. Something about the name, something about something about the name, sweet name, sweet, sweet name, yeah, yeah. Oh, how I love the name, oh, I J E S U S, I love it. Oh, I love the name, sweet name. He the sweet is name. Keep singing something about the name. When you were down and out and stuck in your closet, didn't he come along and didn't he show you? Didn't he show you the way? Didn't he bring you out? Yes, he. What about the time? When you didn't know what you were gonna do, but God, He stepped in and He made a way. He made a way. Oh, 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 oh how I love the name. Oh, I. Sometimes you just can't stop saying His name, uh, cause you know that the Lord has been good. Yeah. I know it's some more testimonies out here. I know y'all done been through some stuff. What about the time? Oh, when you were in that car accident. When the people came to see you, they didn't see how you got out. But
of the Lord said he grabbed your hand he brought you out no bumps no bruises oh don't you want to say his name oh how I love the name Jesus oh, I love the name so we his name the sweet something about the name hey it's something about the name it's something Oh, what you think about when you think about what he did for you? Uh, how in your deepest sin, he hung, he stretched wide, just so you might be free, just so you might be free. Oh, how I love the name. Oh, how I love the name. He's a sweet name. Let me get a little closer to our time now. Hey, 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 hey. What about the time when you heard that a co-worker or a family member had COVID-19? But maybe you even had COVID-19, but the Lord has brought you out. The Lord has brought you through it. Oh, he kept you from it. Whichever one it is, hey, you ought to thank the Lord. You ought to praise the Lord for what he's done. Sweetest name. The sweet. What about the time? What about the time? What about the time when you and your family member were so sick on your hospital bed? Doctor said they didn't know what to do. They were calling the family take you off the ventilator but oh the lord stepped in and he touched you and he touched you and he touched your family member and they got up out that bed sweet come on y'all oh how i love the name oh. but you know what even even if god didn't give you what you wanted what you felt like you needed <laughs> He's still right on time. He's still giving you everything you need right now. You're still here. Still here. Still here. Hey, hey. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You're still here. He's the sweetest name. He never does anything wrong. He never does anything wrong. It's all a part of his plan. And the Bible says that his plan is perfect. Oh, so we got to respect that and we got to praise his name. Anyway, anyhow, yeah, yeah. Something about the name. Something about the name. Is the sweetest name. He is the sweetest name. Hey. Can you help me say, oh, 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 yeah, it is the sweet, say, oh, It's been a it's been a it's been a tough week. It's been a tough week. Tough week. Thank you, Stephen. Tough week. But I'm still hey, yeah. Trouble 
sing my sad trouble, but I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Taking my lumps and bruises. Think y'all know what I'm talking about, but I'm still hey, hey, hey. Anybody here had dog days? Dog day. Had my sad dog, but I'm still through it all. Yeah, all I made. Made it through another day. Lord, He kept me here. He kept me here through it all. I made it. Made it through another day. Hey, God. I know we can all attest to this. Anybody, anybody, anybody in here? Been lied on. Many times I've been been lied on, but I'm still can't keep me down. Uh, how many of y'all had to care some burden had to bear so many? Oh Lord, but I'm still. How many of y'all been through a little loneliness? Had my share, long felt so all alone in your own corner, but I'm still. Lord, you kept me. Oh, 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 oh. I've even had disappointments. I had so even disappointed myself. <laughs> Lord, but I'm still. Lord, I'm still trusting you. Through it all, through it all, through it all, I made it, made it through another day. Oh, Lord God, kept me here, kept me here, kept me here, kept me here. Through it all, I made it, made it through another day. Yeah. Y'all, I can't take I can't take any of the credit because it was only by the grace of God. Hey, 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 by the grace of God that I'm still here today. It's always there, no matter what came my way. Very present help in my time of need. Standing right there just to see about me. Oh, I made it, made it through another day. Yes, I did, Lord God. Hey, been a rough road, but I made it, I made it, I made it. Made it through another day. Oh, God kept me through it all, through it all, through it all. I made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, God kept me through it all, through it all, through it all. I made through another day I'm still here I'm still here if you ask me how I made it it was nobody but the Lord if you ask me how I'm still clothed in my right mind it was nobody but the Lord you ask me why I'm still smiling when things around me are falling apart. It's nobody but the Lord. When, when, when I think about the goodness of God, it's nobody but Jesus. 
my way maker, Jesus. I mean Jesus. You know, the, more, the more we call it, the better we feel. Jesus. Mary's baby. You know, Jesus. Old folks say, our company keeper in a lonely hour. Jesus. Our way maker. Our, our lead in post. Our, our help in time of need. Jesus. A way out, Jesus. A way in, Jesus. The good shepherd, the bread of life, Jesus. My friend, Jesus. Wheel in the middle of a wheel, Jesus. Jeremiah's hammer, uh, breaking rocks into pieces, Jesus. Jesus. The builder of the church. Jesus. Jesus, the purchaser of his church. Jesus. Who woke us up this morning. Who started us on our way. Who clothed us in our right mind. One step in front of the other. It was nobody. I said nobody. Nobody but, but Jesus. And all we can say at times is hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, if you can't shout now. If by chance you do get to heaven, you won't have no problem shouting there. Because all of your trouble, all of our trouble will be over. There is nothing like Sunday morning at the Grove. You just don't know, you just don't know how blessed you are to be in a place where you can give God what he deserves. You don't have to hold back because he's been too good to you. Hadn't he been good? None of us has lost any weight. And if you did, it wasn't intentionally. But God has been good. Throughout all of this pandemic, God is still blessing us. We have so much to be thankful for. If your kids are doing all right, you're blessed this morning. We have so much to thank him for. Oh, I know there's so many who could cry, who could tell their story. But listen, all of my good days. Ways my bad days and I I just won't complain. I, I won't complain because this man Jesus has brought me this far. And I hope this don't I hope this don't bore you, but it's all right to talk about Jesus. And if you don't love him, just keep saying good morning and get you some bills and get you some responsibility and get yourself in a rock in a hard place and you'll know what it's like to say, Jesus. Lord have mercy. When I, when I think about where I used to be, I know some of y'all out there, I remember where y'all used to be. Ain't God something? Can he, can he make a blessing out of a mess? If you know like I know, what the Lord has done. Your soul will look back and wonder how he made it over. When I read our history, of where we came from and of where we are right now, it was nobody. Let me say it one more time. Nobody. It was nobody. And if you are blessed to be in this time, in this season, in your life, and you weren't back there when they were hanging our forefathers, you ought to be shouting right now because we are blessed today and we are highly favored. We're able to make deals happen. We're able to borrow money with no ease because they died in our place. So my soul looks back and wonder. Living better the 
than my mama and my dad. Driving something better than my forefathers. You ask me, you have the mitigating goal to ask me, why I shout in church? Don't I have a reason? Don't you have a reason? Y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Don't you have a reason? Some of you grew up in shacks and you had to put water pail just to catch the water from the roof. And look at you now. One pair of shoes. One pair of socks. What? Now some of y'all don't know nothing about that. But some of y'all do know what I'm talking about. Had to read out of secondhand books. Taught somebody else's history. But God brought us through. But I tell you, he's all right. He's all right. I got to ask you something. Ain't he all right? I say, ain't he all right? If you know he's all right, let me hear you say, yes, he's all right. He's all right. We got jobs that our forefathers could not get. But look at us now. Look at us now. When you ask me why I shout in church, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Nobody should have to explain to anybody why you got this joy that the world didn't give you. And aren't you glad it's a joy that the world cannot take away? Come to know him. Come to know him. Come to know him. Come to know him for yourself. Do you know him? I didn't ask you, did you hear about him? Do you know him? Because when you come to know him, there's just some things you just can't do no more. Because he's been... Some of us are supposed to be dead this morning. When I look over there at my mother, she could not, and listen, it's, it, it could have, that stroke could have been so that she couldn't talk, she couldn't walk, she couldn't do nothing. But God, when I think about what God could have done and what God did not do, you ask me why I shout. Some of you don't have a mother. She's gone on. You ask me why I shout because God, Lord have mercy. Anybody know he's good? No, 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 no. Anybody know he's good? I didn't ask you, did you hear about his goodness? I asked you, do you know that man is good? And I'm not worried this morning. I'm not worried this morning if folk are trying to figure out, is this the church of Christ? Yes, it is the church of Christ. It's a happy church of Christ. It's a glorious church of Christ. It's a shouting church of Christ. It's a hallelujah church of Christ. It was bought and purchased by the blood of Jesus. And you ask me why I shout this morning. He died that I might live. That's why I'm happy. Don't be ashamed. Don't apologize. It was nobody. Some of us had COVID other than died. Here you are standing in here this morning giving him praise. Some of you work around them all day long and you're standing here. It was nobody. I said nobody. But the law. Don't be ashamed to tell the world it was Jesus who picked me up out of the Mara clay and then took my foot and set it on a rock to stay. When I think about my blessing, I don't just shout, I start crying sometimes. And I don't cry because I'm sad, I cry because I'm so thankful. And church, can I ask you to do something for me this morning? Would you learn to have your own testimony? So if folk ask you, what made you shout this morning? What, what made you cry this morning? What made you close your eyes? What made you do what you did? And all you got to do is start.
telling them how many blessings the Lord has given you. If all of your children ain't in jail, that's enough. No, no, they may not be perfect and they may not be living the way we want them to live, but thank God, they still alive. When I think about it, when I think about it, how much I've been held down, it don't take all that. You church of Christ folk don't do that. I'm glad I found them for myself. And when you find them for yourself, when he moves in your life, you were told to hold yourself. But I can't hold myself no longer. That man has been so good. Anybody know what I'm talking about? So say what you want. Say what you may. But don't ask me why I shout. I'll tell you just a few days ago, Wanda brought me a little girl named Genesis. And the Lord took her in her seventh month. A few years later, the Lord did my testimony. Y'all can hear y'all when you get ready. And how we got together and we tangled a little bit. And before you know it, the Lord blessed me with DJ. I named him Terry Dwayne Wallace Jr. Because I was thankful that God did for me what I could not do for myself. And we got the tangling again. And I looked around and there came Justin. Y'all know him. Y'all heard him. Ain't he something else? And you ask me why I shouted. And then one afternoon we got the tangling again. It was in the afternoon. I, I know it was. And then Adriana Josephine showed up. And, and Lord have mercy, I just shouted. For joy, but then God let me grow them up, and none of them been in jail, and none of them have given us any trouble, and, and they love going to church, and they love all oh, they ain't perfect, but they still mine and belong to God. And, and, and don't y'all know the Lord let me live long enough to see one of them grow up and get married, but well, actually two of them, but I'll get to that one in a minute. Grow up, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all see my blessing. I done saw your blessing. But it ain't about your blessing. It's mine. It's mine. Amen. And, 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 and he, he brings this girl around. Uh-huh. Look at all so shy. Uh-huh. So timid. And I found out they got the tangling. <laughs> why why y'all looking at me like y'all don't know what tangling means, y'all? Some of y'all tangled last night, but we won't tell what all you did. I know I'm right about it. Anyway, 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 they got the tank and they brought me a grandson, Zantarion Dwayne Wallace. Amen. And then they got the tangling again and brought me, uh-huh, made me cry on that day they brought her in the world because they named her Genesis after their oldest sister. But they didn't get through. They kept on tangling. Uh, Claude, Claude Elster and got up on another and they named her Grace but that ain't my shout my shout is the Lord let me live long enough to see it yeah. if there anybody got that same testimony the Lord has let you live long enough to see your own blessings well you ought to have some sense and get up out of your seat and give God what he deserves he deserves a whole lot of praise Nobody do that but the Lord. Now for you, for you Pharisees that's sitting out there, that's judging us, we know our children ain't perfect. That's why we got up. We got up because we know that they're subject to do anything just like we did. <laughs> We just outlived it, amen. I, I don't know. I don't know where you are this morning. I don't know where you are. But if that right there don't get you to come down front, ain't no sense you're sitting down, I'm through. If that don't get you, won't no sermon get you. I mean, I, 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 I had a sermon. I do. I did. I, 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 I really, uh, 
really, I really, I really, I really did. Let me tell you what the name of it was. Uh huh. Christ has set us free. I, 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 you but the book said when he sets you free you are free indeed so you ask me why I'm happy because I've been set free no more chains to bind but I'm wrapped in his loving care so the only thing I know to do now is tell y'all to come on to Jesus He'll free your sin sick soul. He'll do it. He'll make a way. I'll tell you what you do this morning. If you decide to take Jesus home with you and carry him, I promise you by this time next week you'll be smiling more than you are frowning. Because he has a way of going into your home and into your life. And listen, that cussing that you've been doing or you used to do, don't y'all know cussing will sneak back up on you? I didn't say it'll come back up on you. Have you ever been some? Have you ever been in a situation where it came at you out of nowhere, and before you could catch your spirit, your eye, your flesh jumped on you? Listen, I don't know who you are this morning, but don't you let the flesh have his way. I just thought I'd tell you this morning. See, when you you started this thing. You you really did you. You started when you start calling Jesus. See, see, I don't mean to hum. The more you call his name, the better I feel. It's just something about that name. Because when I look back over my life and when I look at where I am and watch this, what God is doing for my life, I can't speak for you, but for my life, he's letting me stand in the midst of my present, Priscilla, and see my future. I see what my future going to look like. I feel like Paul. I'm just in a fix. I'm, I'm in a, if, if, I, if I go there and I do it, I'm fine. But if he decide to take me and I don't, I'm still fine. That's a good place to be. I want y'all to come go with me. I don't want to be selfish, but I want you to see what I see. I want you to experience what I experience. But listen here, it takes a little pain. It takes a little suffering. It, 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 it takes some waiting. And let me just park you for just a moment. Don't you judge folk that are blessed. Because real blessings come with a big price. Because most folk, most people don't like you when you're blessed. And when you start getting blessed, they start lying on you. He stole this, she stole that. He robbed Peter to pay Paul. Well, if you robbed Peter and paid Paul, let's pray that he paid Peter back from Paul. Watch this. And by chance, if he didn't get, if and by chance he didn't get a chance to pay either one of them, he's covered by God's grace. Now that really ought to make you shout. It's not that he didn't want to pay Peter back. It's not that he just didn't have it to pay back. Anybody ever had to get from Peter to pay Paul, but couldn't pay Peter back, or couldn't pay Paul back, and then you died. And you couldn't pay Peter back. The Lord got it. Would you rest in that? Would you just rest in that this morning? The Lord knows our hearts a whole lot better than some of y'all. Thank God for Jesus. Now, I don't know who you are this morning. You're visiting with us. You're not a member of West Oak Grove. You're not a member of the Church of Christ. But listen, I got to tell you, you, you can't be saved unless you're in Christ's church. And I want to make this clear. There's one the Lord don't have but one church. And in a few Sundays from now, I'm going to be dealing on a series, The Oneness of This Church. Because I think even us among the Church of Christ don't forget that there ain't but one church. And you can't find no other church in the Bible. And watch this. This is so offensive now to folk in the church because they don't study no more. And it's offensive to folk in the church now because the preacher's not preaching it anymore. Because it offends their visitor. Well, listen, the truth is always going to offend you. Because anything I say about his church from this pulpit is going to be from the Bible. Yeah. And if a person don't want the Bible, he ain't going to heaven no how. Yeah. He said, you want to be set free? He said, you got to know the truth. Yeah. And the truth is what's going to... Now, if you ain't free, that means you're a slave. Yeah. 
And I'm trying to tell you this morning, we don't want to be slaves. We want to be sons. We want to be sons and daughters of the one who set us free. How do I be saved this morning, preacher? Hear the word of God. Believe what you heard. Believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Believe that he died and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day. Listen, no other founder of any denomination in the world can make that claim. That he died and that he was buried and that he rose again. The only religious body in the world can make that claim is the churches of Christ. Ain't no sense y'all been mad about that. I, if, you, if you ain't careful, I'll take the Bible and prove it. Because that's all we need is the word of God. Listen, when I begin to work on this doctrine, don't y'all get quiet? When it is the truth, now I understand you can get quiet because, ooh, that is interesting. Mm, I didn't know that. That's all right. But I don't want you to just shout when we sing it. Shout. I want you to shout when the word is preached. I want you to be just excited about hearing the word. Listen, when I read it from the scriptures, somebody ought to be saying, all right now. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. Somebody ought to say keep on reading and preaching. Why? Because the word of God is powerful. Watch this. Sharper than any two-edged sword. God's word is what gets down into the joints and the marrow of a man's spiritual life. Matter of fact, it hurts sometimes. Somebody say it cuts going. It means to get us. It means to prick us. Then you got to repent of your sin. You got to turn away from sin. Now, y'all do know what repentance is. Change your heart, thought, and mind. Listen, you have not repented. If you come down here and you're living with Junior, and you and Junior ain't mad, come down here and repent. You remember the church and Junior ain't, and you go back over there and get in the house with Junior, you did not repent. Repentance means you done left there. And you ain't going back until he put a ring on it. And then what's repentance? Repentance is not, a, 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 amen. A, 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 amen, amen. Uh, uh, well, I better leave that alone. Uh, change your mind and you'll change your behavior. And then we want to confess the sweetest name given to man's tongue. I believe Jesus to be the Christ, the Son of the living God. Wallet, do we have an example of that? Acts chapter 8. The eunuch says, see, here is water. What doth hinder me from being baptized? And Philip said to you, if thou believe it, thou mayest. The eunuch said, I believe Jesus is the Christ. And the Bible said they both went down in the water and Philip baptized him. And the book said they both come up out of the water and he went on his way rejoicing. And then you got to be willing to be baptized. That's what the unity did. Why? For the remission of his sins. In other words, for the forgiveness of his sin. And we got members and young preachers are coming along who are just taking folk in without being baptized. But they didn't get forgiveness of their sin. Because baptism washes away sin. Baptism not only washes away sin, but baptism is where you get forgiveness of your sin. And like watch this, that's in the Bible. Listen, whatever you do, Church of Christ, don't you lead the Bible. Why? Because heaven and earth is going to pass away, but the stay on the way. You are safe when you're on the way. Listen to me real carefully. And I will never make apologies for the word. Our world now is sin, is in sin, and is sick because we done left the word. That's what now you get. We done left the Bible. The word. That's a big one, ain't it? But we done left the Bible. We done left it. And, we, and even what's so interesting is when you give the Bible to the church folk, they draw up on you. But my, 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 my charge is whether you like it or not, I got to tell it. That, that's my job. I got to give it to, and you know what? I might lose some friends and family members, but I got to tell it. Paul told him necessity is laid on me. Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, are you willing to die? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I ain't just saying it either. Man ain't fit to die for anything. He ain't fit to live. Will you die for your family? Yes, sir. Why would you do such a thing like because I love them? If you don't love them, you'll get in the gun and say, go shoot them. But if you love them, you got the gun. Y'all go hide. I got it. Y'all going somewhere. I got it. Jesus did that for me. 
Let me tell you why I, I'm able and I'm willing to do it because I ain't dying when they kill me. I start living when I die. See, we are not in the land of the living. We are in the land of the dying. Getting ready for the land of the living. The more sisters had it right when they were singing because I didn't really understand it as a little boy. I'm going to live on after I die. Ain't that wonderful? I said, ain't that wonderful? To know that we live on after. Uh, if y'all really want to shout, let me tell you what's going to happen. You won't have this body you got now. We're going to get a heavenly body. The book says something like this. For if this earthly house of this tabernacle be dissolved, we have a building, a house, eternally in the heavens, not made with hand. No pain. No sorrow. No sickness. No cancer. No high blood pressure. No diabetes, no strokes, no anxieties, no worries. <laughs> That's enough to start shouting right there. All I want the Lord to do for me is just let me have my cabin in the corner of Glory Land. I, I don't know where you are. I, I really don't. I really don't. You, 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 you know where you are. You know what's going on in your life. Will you be honest this morning? Young adults, where are you this morning? <laughs> I, I, I tell people all the time, my mother, my mother is my child. Because when I was a kid, my mama used to say, boy, once a man, twice a child. And I'm watching my mother become a child because she's getting older. But now I got to be careful how I treat her because she... Where she's sitting, if I ain't careful, I'll be. And what I put on her, if I ain't careful, I'll reap. So you young folk, just because you, you dropping it like it's on fire now. And you got all the curves in the right places. And you're poised and you got all of the verbs. And you don't need nobody right now. Just keep on saying good morning. That's why Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, and said, remember the creator in the days of your youth. Because the evil days are going to come. Years are going to drop now. And I shall say I have no. Because you get all the stuff, don't, 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 don't move you like it used to. All you want to do is get, you, get over the corner somewhere and sit out. Yes, sir. Are you young now? You moving. You a bad mama. <laughs> but to you young folk, he's calling for you right now. Come on, take your place because, see, I'm going to be the child after a while. Yeah. Alvin's going to be the child. See, I'm going to be a child. That voice you hear now, you better enjoy it because God's going to silence it one day. Yeah. The question on the floor, who's going to take his place? Who's going to lead the next song at the grove? You sisters, who's going to teach these young folk how to be a good wife? A strong, independent, black sister. Who's going to do that? Well, you can't do that when you think you're just as hot as she is. Somebody got to come to church. Come on, come on, sisters. Pull them skirts down. Get you some more material and drop the hem line, baby. And let's show the young girl what a real woman looks like. You ain't got to be, you ain't got to have your skirt where it's high to be a woman. For you to get some attention, just start talking, baby. You can get that with your mouth. I know a whole lot of women absolutely ooh, glorious building, I mean. But Lord, when they open that mouth, Don't y'all know pretty go out the window? 
oh, I'm, I'm going to get him with these hips of mine. Yeah, you, you can get him with them hips, but that's all he going to want is them hips. Because a real man don't want just <laughs> hips. He wants to know if a woman is hip. She don't want no 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 girly man. She's girly enough for you. And I'll be talking about that a little later on this year uh, about this transgender. But it's in the Bible, and I'm gonna tell you why I want to deal with it because our young folk are being infected. It's in even their cartoons, and media is purpose. Purposefully doing it. Now let me tell you who's behind it. Satan. The God of the, Won't y'all come? I'm supposed to be through. Won't y'all come? Many years I've been looking for a place to call but failed to find it. Just a cabin in the corner of Florida. And Lord, build me just a cabin, Lord, in the corner of Florida land. Girl, in the shade of the tree of the light that it may Jesus' hand, head Lord, build me just a cabin in the corner of glory land. Listen, bless the Lord, I'm not asking to live in the midst, for I know I'm not worthy of such splendor as this, but I'm asking by mercy, by humbly I stand. Yes, Lord, build me just a cabin, cabin in the corner of glory. Yeah, Lord, build me just a cabin, Lord, in the corner of glory. Yeah, where the shade of the tree of life, where it may. Hear, hear the angels sing and shake my Jesus hand. Hey, Lord, build me, build me just a cabin, cabin in the corner of glory. Land. Listen, I have been in, dear loved one, who's gone on before. No more.
beautiful song. What a wonderful, wonderful song. I don't care if I don't get a mansion. I don't care if I don't get a cabin. It's just as long as I'm in heaven. That's all that matters. All that matters. God bless you. Sister Ida Cummins says, I need prayer for my family, myself, and prayer for strength. Thank you, Sister Cummins. Sister Margaret Outley says, I'm having some problems in my life and need your prayers. I need prayer for my family, myself. I need prayer for strength. I need prayer for patience and understanding, she says. I need prayer for God's guidance in my decision making. Thank you, Sister Outley. Sister Eva, Eva Janelle Bale mm -hmm. says, I need prayer for my family and myself. Pray for Larry, Brother Bale, having a lot of headaches. Pray for my brother Joseph Lumpkins. He's had a lot of strokes and can't walk or, or talk. His wife don't care for him anymore. And, and, know that, and know the doctors say no hope. But we have a God that can do anything Keep me and my husband in your prayers also. Thank God for giving us a new family here at The Grove. Amen. Love you all. Praise the Lord. God bless you this morning. So Sister Ethel Molden, one of the prayers of the church for forgiveness of sin. I need prayer for my family and myself. Thank you, Sister Ethel. Thank you, Sister Bell. Sister Kashayla Harris says, I, th I am thanking God for seeing me through. These last couple of weeks have been tough. I am so thankful that God is being, is bringing me out. Thank you, Sister Harris. Kashela and Kimberly, pray for traveling grace as we travel uh, to Vegas on this week. Amen. Amen. Everybody, a able. Amen. Rosemary Bird says, I want the prayers of the church for forgiveness of sin. Says, I need prayer for my family, myself, and for strength in need of prayer to be free from things that are hindering me to be what God expects. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Bird. Sister Sherry Wallace, I want the prayers of the church for forgiveness of sin. I need prayer for my family and myself and for strength. Thank you, Mama. Josephine Taylor, I'm having problems in my life and need your prayers. She says, I need prayer for my family and myself, and I want to thank the church for prayers on behalf of me. Please pray uh, for my brother Walter Huff. The doctor said uh, they have done all they can do. Here's that word I love, but God. Please pray for my family. Please pray for my sister-in-law. Uh, is that Lula Huff? Thank, thank you, Lula Huff. Thank you so much, Sister Taylor. Sister Mary Lomax says, I need prayer for my family and myself and for strength. I need prayer for patience and understanding. My sister Emma Cole, She's in the hospital at Baptist. All the McMahon families are passing, Lord have mercy, of, excuse me, for the passing of her niece uh, this week, uh, last week, wasn't it? Let's be in prayer for Sister McMahon. You've had a lot of death. God bless you, sugar. Tracy Watson says, I need prayer for my family and myself for strength. She says, for patience and understanding, I need prayer for God's guidance in my decision making. Special prayer for Alicia, Alisa Logan, Travis Foster, that Artarius, Antarius Wright, and Julia Couch. Did I say that right? God bless. Thank you so much, Tracy. Tracy Ward says, I want the prayers of the church for forgiveness of sin. I need prayer for my family and myself. Sandra Williams comes. I'm having problems in my life and need your prayers. I need prayer for my family and myself. I need prayer for strength, for patience and understanding. Thank you, Sandra, for coming. Good to see you. Brother William Cole comes. I want the prayers of the church for forgiveness of sin. I'm having some problems in my life and need your prayers. I need prayer for patience and understanding. I need prayer for God's guidance in my decision making. Pray I get this new position. I have known Will since his mother carried him. Amen. And um, first time I've ever known Will to really see Will mad. 
they had Rome, and he'd tell everybody I'm his daddy. And, and folk in Hernando said, he don't look nothing like you. <laughs> I said, but he, he, he is. And, and uh, Will called me over the phone. I had never heard Will. I mean, he was talking so fast. He was so, he had been accused of something that he did not do. And I said, well, let them do what they're supposed to do. If you didn't do it, then you go ahead on through. And I said, when you get through with it, that's when you can silence your critics. So they did what they had to do. And uh, like they typically do when they're wrong, they don't want to acknowledge it, but the results. And I mean, he was going, so at the first time I've ever in my life had to literally holler at the top of my voice at will. Can I get one word in? Cause you fixing to get fired, man, if you don't listen. He called me back after he listened. About 30 minutes later, he was back to his normal self. Will, Will, Will you have never had a chance in this life. Your, I want to say your cousin, but she raised you like a child, Loretta, young as she was. I want you to know before this church, and this is the last time I'll say this to you, before this church, you have all the help. Stand up where you are. Stand up where you are. You have all the help and all the family you need right in here. Uh, I've shared with you, you're not going to make me believe anything about Loretta other than she did the very best she could. Being as young as she was, trying to raise hers and you. But the Lord gave you a very good job. You know what I'm talking about. But let me say it for the church, thank you for calling me. Because most members call me after they got fired. I was trying to keep you a job so I didn't have to give you no more money. All I saw was, oh, uh, he finna call me again. No, you've been doing very well. And it's my prayer this morning that you do get this new position. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Sister Geraldine Roberts says, I need prayer for my family, myself. I need prayer for strength. And I'm asking prayer for my niece, that Felicia Hunt and family. She is bearing her husband today. Okay. All right, Sister Darlene Isom comes and she says, thank you, Lord. I had to come down to say that. Oh, how I love Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sir. God bless you. With that, with that thought, there is a name I love to hear I love to see his word worthy sound like music in my hear the sweet his name on earth oh, oh, oh. how I love Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for loving us so much. We thank you for dying that we might live. We thank you right now for being an on time God. We thank you for being a God who knows how to look beyond our faults and meet our every need. Thank you for one more sunny day. Thank you for the sunshine, the rain, the air that you allow to move upon our mortal frame bodies. God, just thank you for being God all by yourself. You heard the needs and the desires of your children. Father, we've all sinned and fallen short. We've all said things we should not have said and didn't mean them. But God, thank you for giving us another chance to make it right. 
But God, if we don't have you, then what shall we do? For you, you are the one Lord who has eternal life. Help us today as we sit before you and to ask you right now to have mercy upon all of us. Strengthen us where we are weak. Then build us up where we are torn down. God, go into our home and if you find anything that, that shouldn't be, remove it, Lord. That's our desire. Because we claim you as Lord of our lives. God, we thank you. For never leaving us, we thank you. For being our company keeper when the hours and the days are so lonely. There are many fathers who are struggling in this church with their health and they have lost loved ones and family members who are ill now and have been given up on. But we know that you are able. And God, 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 please help your children right now to understand your servant when he says sometimes death is not a bad option. As much as we want our loved ones to stay and be around, but the pain and the hurt and the suffering can be so bad that sometimes in our flesh we say to you that others will not say, Lord, if it be your will, not mine. Do what you think is best, and then, Lord, I'll give you the glory. And sometimes the Lord let them sleep away in the night. Sometimes death is our answer. Help us to be strong enough to receive. God, thank you for the people that you have entrusted to me. Thank you for their prayers because I know I'm not doing this on my own. Somebody's praying for me. And God, bless our children. Bless this world we're living in. God, we know you're going to make everything all right because you said the earth is yours and everything in it. And Lord, help us to stay in your church because we know you said it's your bride and you're coming back for it. And God, you have never told a lie. If you said you're coming back, we're going to stay in it because you're coming back to get your church, your bride. As we leave this place today, but never from your presence. We pray that no hurt, harm, or danger will befall us. God, you, you've blessed us with so many wonderful things. All these gadgets and gurus and buttons and everything that you have given us for our pleasure. We thank you for them, Lord. But help us to always remember that the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Let us be like Job. Though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. In all of my appointed days, I will trust in the Lord. This is my prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Would y'all indulge me just one moment? As I journey through this land, see and I want, I'll keep on for ten souls to can't bury you. When many arrows pierce my soul from without Oh, 
Bible says in Malachi 3:10, bring the whole thy into uh, thy into storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing there will be that there will be no room enough to store it. The Bible states that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Let's take this time to pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the word. We thank you for Brother Wallace for bringing it to us. I pray, Lord, that what we what we've heard, we can apply to our everyday life. And I pray, God, that we'll give as according to what we have been given this week. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me, what he's done for me. You can't, you can't tell it, tell it like I can. Oh yeah, Lord, what he's done for me. Jesus picked me, Jesus picked me up, and he turned me all around. Jesus placed my feet, feet, placed it on the solid ground, the solid ground, oh yeah, here's what he does, he gave his son, he came to save, said he died on the cross, and our sins erased, he healed my body, won my case. He made a way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Lord. What he's done for. You can't tell it. You can't tell it like I. Just what the Lord has done. What he's done for me. Jesus picked me. Jesus picked me up. And he turned me all around. Well, oh, no. Jesus placed my feet. Jesus placed my feet. Lord, on the solid ground. Oh. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you what he done for me. He gave his son. Came to save. Died on the cross. And my sins erased. Heal my body, won my case, never left me, he made a way, oh yeah, oh yes Lord, what he's done for me, yeah, you can't tell it, you can't tell it like I can, just what the Lord has done, uh, what he's done for me. Jesus, Jesus pick me, Jesus pick me up. Oh, oh, when he placed my feet, Jesus placed my, Jesus placed my feet. Oh, yeah, Lord, now on a solid. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you what he done for me. So he gave his son. To save, died on the cross, my sins erased, healed my body, won my case, never let me die. He made a way. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lord, what is what he's done for? 
what he's done for me what he's done for me yeah. what he's done for what he's done for me all right let us take out this time to remember jesus in john 3 16 we are remembered, we are told that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And during the communion, uh, there's a scripture from Matthew 26, 26 through 29 that states, while they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he, get, when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for me. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us go on to prayer. Dear Lord, we come to you at this time just giving thanks for what you have done for us on that cross. Lord, we just thank you for all the blessings and all the care and love that you show us daily, even though we don't deserve it. I just pray, God, that we take this with clean hands and pure hearts until you come back. And it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. But I presence and we are certainly thankful for God's presence in our lives on a daily basis. If there was ever a time that we needed, the time is surely right now. 
Just a few announcements here. Just, again, thankful to our virtual church family for tuning in this morning. Let's not forget to bring the sanitizers and more water, please. The trunk or treat, there will not be a trunk or treat. There's just going to be that, uh, the candy gifts given out on that 31st. And so let's, let's be thankful, amen, for that, amen, amen. All right, the Harvest Sunday on the 31st here at the Grove, we look forward to not only our young adults, but to everyone, amen, coming back. Also, on next Sunday, if you will, be in something kind of peak as we celebrate, as we um, recognize breast cancer awareness. Uh, this is a lot going on this month of, uh, what is that? Uh, breast Cancer Awareness Month. I think Bosses Month and uh, some of everything. I, people telling me this is Bosses. I'm going, I didn't know that. But anyway, but certainly, certainly we, we want to just appreciate all of those. Uh, for, for whatever they may be doing. Also, let's not forget the Thanksgiving meal uh, for the needy in our community. I will say to the um, a benevolent ministry, make sure we separate that in there because they're getting kind of mixed up. We need to put the Thanksgiving stuff in an area by itself so that we'll know the difference between that as well. And we thank you in advance. We're gonna, we're gonna provide, we believe we can provide the turkeys. So if you just do all of the trimmings, which is over, over here, please do that for us. We certainly will appreciate that. We're planning and striving to do 50 uh, boxes for, for needed families. Thank you so, so very, very, very much. I do need to meet with the Young Adult Ministry team for just a brief moment after worship. Let's continue to keep all of those uh, that are sick among us in our prayers. Brother Keith Johnson, he is home and he is doing, doing better. Laquita, Laquita Owens is, is doing much better. Her son is doing much better. Uh, we want to continue to keep them uh, in our prayers. There have been so much. Ike and Stacy Rochelle, they are doing much, much better. Uh, they are on this side of the COVID. My aunt Kyra is doing much better. She's on this side. Continue to keep Sister Cassandra Graham uh, in your prayers as well. Um, Perry Jr.'s wife procedure, uh, I think they're, 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 they're doing okay but they're going to be doing some other things, so let's keep Perry Jr. and his wife in our prayers. Brother, Brother Tredanius Beard, the minister of the Northwest Church, his father passed away that funeral this coming Saturday at Northwest, and let's keep him and his family in our prayers uh, as well. Sister Tanner is with us, but she's having procedures done, and we just hope that she is being a good patient over there. Amen. <laughs> Uh, over there, but we're going we're gonna to be praying for her. Amen. Uh, also, our sister Lisa Newsom, she's doing fine, and she asked prayers for her mother. Again, let's continue to pray for the Cooper family. Uh, it was in a space of a year, I believe, that Brother Cooper passed, and now Sister Cooper, uh, within about 12 to 14 months. So let's keep that family uh, in our prayers as well. Um, sister Joyce Jamison, she is home, uh, recuperating well. She's doing well. There's going to be another procedure uh, this week, and that should be uh, the end of it. So keep them in our prayer. Brother Smith is with us. We're certainly grateful that he is here and that uh, he's doing well. He's got a few other things going on there, but, but we're going to keep him in our prayers. He's asked prayers also for Larry Lamar. Uh, I believe it was Frank Houston uh, in the family. And so we want... All right. Okay, thank you so much. I believe also Sister Howard has mentioned about the loss of the, in the Dobbins family, Bernard, and the Wilkerson, so let's keep that whole family in our presence. There's been so much death, and so let's keep everyone, amen, in uh, your prayers. It says, thank you so much. The, wor the world's a whole lot better, better place because of you, because of people like you who bring so much happiness with the nice things that they do. And with your recent thoughtfulness still very much in mind, this is meant to bring a thank you of the very warmest kind from the Cummins family. Brother and, and Sister Cummins, uh, from this pulpit, I do apologize. Um, I, I thought it was Saturday. I was dressed and going to the funeral and found out that it was on Sunday. 
and I had to be somewhere else. But I sent somebody look half close to me, my son DJ. As I appreciate him standing in the gap, but we certainly, certainly uh, are praying for y'all's loss as, as well. Thank you so much for, for this card. Also, um, this is, is um, it says, can you announce the lunch, the lunch, the lunching party of our kids? They are starting a business and we will have a lunch party, lunching party on November the 13th from 12 to 4 p.m. It is at 39, 3397, 3397, Summer Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee. Also, we will be having a Christmas ball on December the 18th at the Gale Center in Hernando. It will be from 6 to 10 and tickets are 25. Please see Kim or Kashela for tickets. This is from Danielle Harris. They are launching their business and uh, we certainly, we certainly pray that you will have a wonderful, wonderful and prosperous business. Amen. Thank you so much. And I do also in line with their business solicit your prayers. We're still online for, for, for the, um, the on the spot cleaners in cold water and Terry's Grub House in Coldwater. This is a part of my, my, my descending from the Grove and having something to do after uh, I leave the Grove because I don't want to be in the way. Sometimes preachers stay too long. Get old and they're in the way. I don't want anybody, I don't want to be in the way. In their way, I want to be able to help them while they are on the way. So we're making plans and pray for those efforts as well uh, of mine. Um, also, on the 24th, let's keep it in mind, in mind <laughs> that, that um, <laughs> let's, let's just keep in mind that the breast cancer awareness for some people, it is real serious because just for a brief moment, when you think about going to the doctor and you're just going for a normal, a normal checkup, and they tell you they see something, it really, it really kind of, it kind of does something to you. And then when you go back and it's actually something, and then you've got to deal with that. And so for some people, I've seen people take this kind of lightly, and it, 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 it offends people. And we don't want to offend you. If it's private for you, that's fine. But well, we want you to know that we are thinking of you. And the, the Grove family don't want this to just be something. That, let's, let's, let's wear something pink if we can on next Sunday, if it's just a tie, a blouse, whatever. And, uh, and then also we want to just share with those. Now, we, we were told that we had about 8 to 10. If we got more than that, we're going we're gonna to try to have more. But we want to make sure that we try to get everyone uh, from the last time that we did it. But... We don't know what has happened in the, school, in, in the span of a year. And so we want to make sure that we, we, we have everyone. Also, also um, on that 31st, um, you're going to experience a little bit of something different. The only thing what, what the preacher's going to do on that 31st is, is, is share a word. But I want, I'm trying to do the first, that fifth Sunday, uh, with our young adults. Is that I want to kind of give this church a future picture of what this church will look like leadership wise. Because we don't need to wait too late to prepare our young men. And we have some good, strong young men. And what these young men need is our encouragement. And, and, and church, church, I, I have been very fortunate to be in in some very powerful places and in position to see things that older preachers who are, I consider smarter than me, talented, I mean much deeper in the scriptures, but I see where they don't use common judgment. Sometimes they stay too long. And, 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 and I don't want that for West Oak Grove. I want to see West Oak Grove, before I leave this earth, go to another level. 
But sometimes you kind of have to get out of the way for that to happen sometimes. And when I say get out of the way, be there to help. And so we're going to give you a picture on the 31st, that last Sunday this month, um, of kind of a picture of what our future looks like. Can y'all celebrate that with us? Can you do that? Can you celebrate that with us? They want me to do the drawing for this basket? Huh? Y'all sure y'all want me to dip my hand in this? Do I call the name or the number? It says Rambo. Also, 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 y'all, y'all pray for my brother Kim. He, he really being challenged. The Lord is really challenging my brother. Y'all pray for him. Uh, he gonna make it through it. Y'all don't know, but he knows, and I know. Pray for him. Call his name. He's been a loyal, good brother of this church ever since day one. But he's had some challenges come his way the last few weeks. Y'all pray for him. Amen. Amen. Is there anything that I'm overlooking? Anything I'm overlooking? God bless you. Would you stand with me? Would you stand with me as we prepare to go down from this place? I do want to meet just briefly with the um, young adult ministry for just a second. In the conference room. Uh, what you doing? Huh? He doing a dismiss me. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the many blessings that we have. Let us leave this place and go home to our everyday lives. We take what you have heard today and be a better place. Me, a better person. Your name I pray. Amen. Amen. No congregating in the building, going out of here and get in the parking lot and talk all you want. <laughs>